Hi there. This is the Aptitude Guy. Welcome to another lesson video on logical reasoning. In this video, we are going to learn about directions. This is a very nice topic. You can say it belongs to the same family of seating arrangement. If you haven't watched the seating arrangement videos, I'll link them right here in the i button. Definitely go and watch them. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with directions. Now, when it comes to the concept of directions, the first thing you definitely need to know is north, south, east, west. And the second thing you definitely need to know is north, east, south, east, south, west, north, west. Now, other than the directions, you also need to know left and right, of course. And you need to know just one small mathematical concept. This is a right angle triangle. What concept comes to your mind when you see a right angle triangle? Of course, the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem stated that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And that is nothing but hypotenuse is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Now the good news is we will not be using this formula in a lot of questions. The not so good news is we will be using this formula right now to derive another formula. What is that other formula? This is a square. And this is the diagonal of a square. Using the Pythagoras theorem, let's find out the formula for diagonal of a square. We have diagonal equals square root of a square plus a square. The same thing. Here the diagonal is the hypotenuse. Square root a square plus b square is nothing but a square plus a square. Done. After that, a square plus a square becomes 2a square and after that, we have a root 2. A lot of people make a mistake, they simply cancel out the root and the square. But that cannot happen here because the square is a part of a only, it's not a part of the whole thing. Okay? If at all you want me to break it down further, it will go like this, square root of 2 into square root of a square. Square root of a square becomes a, so a root 2. That is the final formula. We will be using this formula in some few questions, not a lot of questions. Alright, so this was the concept of directions. Let's start with question number one. As usual, pause the video, try to solve the question and then come back. Alright, let's do it. In directions, the questions will be very long and the solutions will be very small. So it's okay, don't panic by looking at the size of the question. Ross started walking from his home in search of Rachel. He went 90 meters in the east. Alright. So this is his home. He went 90 meters east. Now I want you to focus on the three things over here that I have done. It's not just a simple line. I have labeled the starting point with home. Then I have labeled the direction in which the person is facing, that is east. And then the distance traveled also, that is 90 meters. This has three pieces of information. So always make sure you write down everything so that you don't have to go back to the question again and again and read the data. Every data is right here. Alright. After that, he turned right. Now the thing here is he is facing east. He is facing this side. So his right is either up or down. Where is his right? Of course, down. We have 20 meters. Done. After that, again, he turned right and goes for 30 meters. Now, he's facing south. So, his right is our left. So, it goes right 30 meters. He finds a forest there. He searched for her, did not find her. From there, he went 100 meters to his north. This part confuses a lot of people. What do you mean by his north? People think that his north means he goes straight. No. Always remember, his north, your north, my north, his mom's north, my dad's north, everybody's north is the same north. That is upwards, like this. How many meters? 100 meters. And this is the bank of the river. Always label the places. So this is the diagram. Now the question says, in which direction from his home is he now? From his home, which direction is he now? From his home, he is in northeast direction. So the answer is option C, that is northeast. Always remember to read where the person is starting from. 
okay because if at all he had said if at all the question had said in which direction is his home from his present place then the answer would have been like this that is southwest and that also is there in the options so be very careful about these questions i had told you in the blood relations uh, video that if at all grandmother is the correct answer then granddaughter will always be there in the options if father is the correct answer then son will always be there in the options because the exact opposite will always be there in the options same thing with directions if northeast is the answer southwest will be there in the options if south is the answer north will be there in the options always so just because your diagram is correct does not guarantee that your answer is correct be very careful about reading the last part of the question where the person starts from all right if you have any doubts in this definitely drop them in the comments i will try to answer them if not let's go on to question number 2 pause the video try to solve it and then come back all right a boy runs 5 kilometers towards east okay so he starts from here 5 kilometers east done after that he turns left okay left is which direction up or down left is upwards like this 6 kilometers all right again he turns right and walks for 9 kilometers all right now 9 east right is over here 9 finally he turns to his right and walks 6 kilometers he's facing this way so right is down right here 6 this is where he is now the question is how far is he from the starting point and in which direction all right so first of all how far is he from the starting point that is nothing but 5 plus 9 that is equal to 14 so the answer is either option b or option d now in which direction from where from the starting point so from this side starting point to ending point it is east so 14 kilometers east that is the final answer if at all they had asked how far is the starting point and in which direction from his present place then it would have been 14 kilometers west but this is east done Any doubts over here? Definitely drop them in the comments. Otherwise, let's move on to question number three. Pause the video, try to solve it, and then come back. Okay. Early morning, Vijita started jogging, facing opposite the sun. Okay. Now here, a lot of people make mistakes. First of all, we all know that the sun rises in the east, and we are talking about early morning over here. That means the sun is definitely in the east direction all right now if at all he is facing opposite the sun the sun is in the east facing opposite the sun will obviously be west so vijita is facing west and he jogged for 6 kilometers all right this is his home he jogged for 6 kilometers in the west direction after that he turned right if he is facing this side right is up or down right is of course up and we have 5 kilometers this side then again he turned right and jog for 2 kilometers right 2 kilometers and finally he jogged for 5 kilometers by turning right okay again right is right here this is where he stops 5 kilometers downwards and this is the swimming pool so we have home we have swimming pool the question is in which direction from his home is the swimming pool okay from his home so we start from home to swimming pool what is this direction this direction is of course west so the answer is option a but if at all you end up reading the question in the opposite direction then you will get the answer as east but please be careful with the last part of the question starting from where and ending where is very important in directions let's move on to the next one Question number 4 pause the video try to solve it and then come back All right Snape starts walking from his home at 9 am this is one useless piece of information we don't care about the time unless and until the sun is there in the question he walked 4 kilometers towards west all right so suppose this is his home 
he walked four kilometers west. This side. After that, he turned right. Up or down? Of course, up. Six kilometers. All right. Then four kilometers right. All right. Again, four kilometers right. Remember, this four kilometers is equal to this four kilometers, obviously. After that, he reached the school. Oh, and finally, he walked eight kilometers in his right. So he's facing this side now. Right side is downwards, eight kilometers. So we go all the way down like this. How do we know it will go further down? This is six. So this also will be six. And this whole thing is eight. So if this is six, this one is two. This is his home and this is the school. This is the diagram. Now let's see what the question says. How far and in which direction is he from his home now? From his home. So home to school. What is the direction? South. And how far? Two kilometers. That's it. Two kilometers south. Answer is option A. Done. Any doubts over here? Definitely ask me in the comment section. I will try to answer it. If there are no doubts and you have been right all this while, that is amazing. Let's move on to question number five. Pause the video. Try to solve the question. This is a very nice Tom and Jerry question. Take your own sweet time and then come back. We'll solve it together. All right. Tom started chasing Jerry from the dining table, ran behind him for 16 root 2 meters towards southwest. All right. 16 root 2 meters. A lot of times people end up getting scared because of this root 2 over here. Please understand this root 2 is a friend in this question. If the root 2 was not there, it would have been a very difficult question to solve. Root 2 makes the solution easier actually. How? We'll check it out right now. So, ran behind him for 16 root 2 meters towards southwest, starting from the dining table. Alright, so we have the dining table right here. 16 root 2 meters. Alright, southwest. This is southwest. This is 16 root 2. Okay. Now, after this, we have to do something very important. First of all, let me just ask you one very random question suddenly. If at all your diagram looks like this, if at all your diagram looks like this, then congratulations, your directions are absolutely perfect. But the distances are absolutely wrong. So please concentrate on how I'm solving this because you might have made a few mistakes which you are not supposed to. So first thing, when you have 16 root 2 over here, the first thing you do after this is complete the right angle triangle or write down the corresponding vertical and horizontal lines. Now, if this is 16 root 2, this and this will be how much? Remember the formula for diagonal of a square? If this was A, this was A, then this was A root 2. That is what we derived using the Pythagoras theorem. So, if this is A root 2, this is A and this is A. Similarly, if this is 5 root 2, this is 5, this is 5. So, similarly, if this is 16 root 2, this is 16 and this is also 16. Alright, this will come in very handy for you in the future of the solution. Let's start now. From there, 2 meters towards east. Alright, the first mistake that a lot of people make over here is they draw a long 2 meters. This is absolutely wrong. See, the thing is, you have to draw the diagram up to scale. I don't mean to say take an actual scale and start drawing the diagram. No, that will just be a waste of time. What I mean to say is, if this whole thing is 16, then half of that is 8, half of that is 4, and half of that is 2. So, 2 is only this much. That's all. This much is true, not the whole thing. Okay, that is why the 16 and 16 are very important. After that, 9 meters towards north. This is where people make their second mistake. They make a long 9 meters over here. But no. How to draw that properly? You know that this line is 16. Half of that is 8. So, 9 will be a little bit more than that. Okay, 
So we have 9 right here. Done. After that, 2 meters towards east. We already know how long a 2 meters should look like. So copy and paste it over here. 2 meters east. After that, finally, he ran for 7 meters till the door in the north. Okay. Here, a lot of people go outside their pages itself. But no. 7 meters in the north means it will stop right here. This point will be in line with this point. How are we 100% sure about this? We are. Because look at this. This is the door, right? How much is 7 plus 9? 7 plus 9 is 16. And how much is this? 16. This is 16. This is 16. So obviously, these two points are absolutely in line with each other. It's in the same line. That is why option A and option D are definitely wrong. It's either option B or option C. Let's see what is the answer now. The question says, in which direction is the dining table with respect to the door? With respect to the door. That means we have to start from the door. So door to dining table. Door to dining table is which direction? Door to dining table is east. That is the answer. Now, sometimes what happens is people may get the exact diagram. The diagram is absolutely perfect. But still, they end up reading the question in the opposite direction. And then they end up getting the answer as west. Because they go from dining table to door. But the question clearly says with respect to the door. So, door to dining table, the answer is east. Let me ask you another what if question over here. What if they asked, what is the distance between the door and the dining table? What would you answer? If you're saying 14, you are wrong. If you're saying 12, you are absolutely right. This whole line is 16. Then we have minus 2 and minus 2. 16 minus 2 minus 2 is 12. Yes. So one single piece of information can have multiple questions. Please keep that in mind. Any doubts over here? First, I would suggest that you rewind the video and watch the solution again. But if you still have some doubts, definitely drop them in the comments. And if at all this particular solution cleared some doubts of yours that you have had since years, then like the video so that the video gets saved in the liked videos section of your YouTube app. So that you can always go back and revisit the video. Alright? Now, let's go to question number 6. As usual, pause the video, try to solve it, and then come back. Okay, let's solve it. Dev, Kumar, Nilesh, Ankur, and Pintu are standing facing north. Everybody is facing north. That means their right is our right, their left is our left. Kumar is at 40 meters to the right of Ankur. Who is the reference over here? In seating arrangement, in linear arrangement, we learned that the person who comes after off is always the reference. Okay, so we start with Ankur. Ankur is right here. Now they have mentioned Kumar is at 40 meters to the right of Ankur. Right of Ankur, 40 meters is right here. This is Kumar. Okay, Dev is at 60 meters in the south of Kumar. Okay, 60 meters in the south of Kumar is Dev. After that, Nilesh is at a distance of 25 meters in the west of Ankur. 25 meters in the west of Ankur is Nilesh. Done. After that, Pintu is at a distance of 90 meters in the north of Dev. 90 meters in the north of Dev. So, how many meters in the north of Kumar? 30 meters, of course, because this whole thing is 90. So, this one is Pintu. This is what the arrangement should look like. But just because your arrangement looks like this does not guarantee that your answers are right. Let's see. Which one is in the northeast of the person who is to the left of Kumar? Okay. Who is to the left of Kumar? Obviously, Ankur. And we have to focus on the person who is to the northeast of that person. Northeast of Ankur is Pintu. So, the first answer is option D. That is Pintu. Second one. If a boy starting from Nilesh met Ankur, then Kumar, then Dev, and then Pintu. Okay. Nilesh to Ankur to Kumar to Dev and then to Pintu. How much distance is being travelled? Nilesh to Ankur? 25. Ankur to Kumar? 40. Kumar to Dev? 60. 
and then dev to pin to 90 a lot of people make a mistake after 60 they end up adding 30 but no you have to add 90 because dev to pin to is 90 when you solve it you will get 215 meters as the answer option a is the correct answer done any doubts over here definitely post them in the comments if not then let's move on to the next question Question number seven, a very nice question. Go slow and try to solve it and then come back. We'll solve it together. All right. Harry went in search of Frodo from his home. He walked for 300 meters towards east. All right, let's begin. We have his home right here, 300 meters towards east. This is 300 meters. Now, Walked for 400 meters to his left. So, 400 meters to his left is right here. Okay. From there, 700 meters to his right. All right. 700 meters to his right. Done. After that, he reached the school. This is the school. Always label the places. He did not find Frodo there. From school, he started walking south. South is downwards right here, 900 meters. And then walked, then took a right turn and walked 300 meters. From here, a lot of people make mistakes. They write it like this and like this. But this is wrong. He's facing south. So his right is our left. So this direction, 300 meters. Then he took a left turn. So left turn is downwards and walked for 200 meters over here. All right. I'll write 300 over here. And this one is 200 meters. And this is the playground. Done. If this is what your diagram looks like, then congratulations. Your diagram is absolutely correct. But that does not mean that your answer is correct too. Let's read the questions now. In which direction is their home with respect to the playground? With respect to the playground. That means we have to start from the playground. Playground to home. What is this direction? This direction is northwest. The answer is option B. If at all you gave the answer as option D, that means you read the question in the opposite direction. You read home to playground. That would have been southeast. And of course, that is none of these. But the answer is option B. I hope you understood your mistake. In which direction is the school with respect to home? With respect to home, we have to go school. Okay. So, what is this direction? Of course, northeast. So, the answer is option C. Done. Third one is a very important question. How far is the playground from their home? All right. So, we have to find this distance. Now, this looks like a hypotenuse. So, if there is a hypotenuse, we have to finish the right angle triangle. Okay, let's do that. This is the vertical line. This is the right angle triangle. Done. Now, let's focus on each and every line over here. Okay, if this is 300, then this also is 300. Now we know that this line to this line, this point to this point is 700 meters. And if this one is 300 meters, then this one is 700 minus 300, that is 400 meters. Now if this is 400, this is 400. And if this is 400, then this is 500. If this is 500, then this is 500. Done. Now what is happening? How much is this? We have 300 plus 400, that is 700. How much is this? We have 500 plus 200, that is 700. So 700 plus 700, sorry, we have 700 here, 700 here, and this is a right angle triangle. So our friend Pythagoras says that this one is 700 root 2. The answer is option B. So the answers are B, C, B. If you got all the three right, you should be proud of yourself. If you did not, I hope you understood what your mistakes were. That's okay.
Just don't repeat the mistakes in the exams. Any doubts over here, definitely drop them in the comments. Otherwise, let's move on to question number 8. This is a very different question from all the questions that we did previously. So please pause the video, try to understand the question and then solve it. And then of course, come back, let's solve it together. Okay. Now, first of all, let's forget about the question for a while. Let's look at this. This is a watch or a clock. Now, generally speaking, what happens is we have 12 facing north, 6 facing south, 9 facing west and 3 facing east. This is how the clock is generally kept on our walls. But when it comes to wrist watches, whenever we go back home and we open our wrist watch, do we always keep it in this specific angle? No. We can keep it in any angle, we just throw it off and it falls however it falls. That is exactly what happened with Hermione. What happened with her? She has kept her wristwatch on her table in such a way that the hour hand points towards northeast and minute hand points towards southwest at what time? At 6 pm. Now, if at all the clock is normal looking like this, at 6 pm, the hour hand points at 6 and the minute hand points at 12. This is how it is 6 pm, right? But over here, what happens is, now in normal direction, what happens is at 6 pm, the hour hand points south and the minute hand points north. But she has kept it in such a way that at 6 pm, the hour hand points at northeast. The hour hand points northeast. That means this points at this direction. That means 6 goes in that direction. That means her watch is kept like this. This is what the watch is kept like. So now, when it is 6 o'clock, the hour hand points at 6 and the minute hand points at 12. So the hour hand points at northeast direction like the question says and the minute hand points at southwest direction. Just like so. That's it. That is what the question means. You have to figure out in which direction the watch is kept so that you can figure out 6, 12, 3 and 9. Alright? Now, let us solve the question. This is the directions. Now, we get to know that 6 is over here because at 6 p.m. the hour hand points at 6 and the question says that the hour hand points at northeast. So, northeast is 6. Northeast is 6. And opposite to that is of course 12. And we all know that a clock works clockwise. So, we have 3 right here and then we have 6 and then we have 9. This is how the watch is kept. Now, let us read the questions. Towards which direction is the hour hand pointing at 3 a.m.? Alright. At 3 a.m., the hour hand will point at which number? At 3 a.m., the hour hand will point at 3, of course. And 3 is pointing at which direction? 3 is pointing at north, west. So, the first answer is option B. Done. Question number 2. Towards which directions are the hour hand and the minute hand respectively pointing at 4.30 in the evening? Alright. Whenever you have timings like this, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.15 and so on and so forth, the first hand you need to think about is the minute hand. Because it's easier. At 4.30 or at any 30, the minute hand points at which number? The minute hand points at 6. And 6 is which direction? 6 is northeast direction. Now, which option says northeast? This option says northeast. This is the only option which says northeast. So, the answer is of course option C. But still, let's verify the hour hand part also. How do you verify that at 4.30 the hour hand points exactly north? Let's see. We have 3 over here, 6 over here. That means 4 will be here. And 5 will be here. Now at 4.30, the hour hand points where exactly? At 4.30, the hour hand points exactly between 4 and 5, which is right here. Exactly between 4 and 5 is exactly north. So this answer is absolutely perfect. We have north and northeast as the answer. 
at 4.30 in the evening. Got it? Any doubts over here, definitely go back and re-watch this part of the video. But if you still have some doubts, then definitely drop them in the comments. If there are no doubts and you understood it perfectly, then I'm definitely sure you'll be able to answer the next question. Question number 9. Pause the video and try to solve it and then come back. Alright, let's do it. The timepiece in Dumbledore's home is kept in such a way that the hour hand points towards north at 9. Hour hand north at 9. That means north is 9. Now if north is 9, the exact opposite will be 3. And a clock works clockwise. So we have 6 over here, then 9 over here and then 12 over here. Done. This is how the watch is kept. Now, first question. In which direction will the minute hand point at 6.15? Alright, at any 15, the minute hand points at 3. Right? So, if it's pointing at 3, that means it is pointing south. So, the answer is option D. Done. Second question. In which directions will the minute hand and the hour hand respectively point at 10.30? Please read the question properly. They have asked for minute hand first and then the hour hand. Very important. So at 10.30, the minute hand points at, of course, 6. And that is where? That is west. So the first answer is west. That means the answer is either option A or option B. Now, our hand will point where at 10.30? Our hand will point exactly between 10 and 11. So we have 9 here, 12 here. So we'll have 10 here and we'll have 11 here. So exactly between them is 1030. That is north east. So the answer is option B. That is west and northeast. So the answers are option D and option B. Done. If you were able to solve this question properly, congratulations. But if you still have some doubts, definitely ask me in the comments. Alright, let's do the last question of this video. Question number 10. Again, draw this diagram and then try to solve it and then come back. Okay, let's solve this question. The first thing we do is we write down the original directions over here. Let's do that. We have north, we have south, we have east, we have west, then we have northeast southeast southwest and we have northwest okay these are the original directions now what happens to them they have mentioned if southwest becomes southeast okay southwest is right here it becomes southeast that means this one comes over here after that west becomes south west becomes south that means this one is coming here so what is happening exactly all the directions are shifting clockwise by 90 degrees. So now let's complete the diagram. So south went here. That means southwest will go to northwest. So this is southwest. West will come over here. Northwest will come over here. North will come over here. Northeast will come over here. And east finally will come over here. This is what the question means. Now, please read the question properly. It basically means that red becomes yellow. Red becomes yellow. Red becomes yellow. Now, let's read the questions. The first one says, dash becomes east. What becomes east? South becomes east. So, the first answer is south. There would be some people who might mark north as the answer. That is because you read the question in the wrong direction. If at all the question had asked, East becomes dash, then it would have been East becomes North. Then the answer would have been North. But they have asked, Dash becomes East, South becomes East. Answer is option C. Next one, North East becomes dash. Alright, North East becomes what? Northeast becomes northwest. So the answer is option D. Done. With that, we are done with this question. So, moral of the story 
please be very careful about the position of the dash is it in the beginning of the sentence or in the end of the sentence that makes a lot of difference any doubt in this particular question definitely drop them in the comments and if at all you do not have any doubts in any of the 10 questions that is amazing with that we are done with directions thank you so much as always for watching this entire video if at all you liked it then definitely consider subscribing there are a ton of other lesson videos which you can watch and if at all this video solved a lot of doubts of yours then like this video like i said it will be saved in the liked videos section of your youtube app if you want to watch the previous video it's right here and if you want to watch the next video it's right here so i'll see you in the next one bye bye